Earlier this year, Airbus quietly added an order for a single A330-800. This moved the variant's total orders from 11 up to 12. This type of activity might not be considered news to most, but any developments concerning this poor selling variant have an added level of intrigue. Let's look at this order for today's video. For quite some time, the Airbus A330-800 order book had been stuck at 11. Two for Uganda Airlines, four for Kuwait Airways, four for Garuda Indonesia, and one for Air Greenland. However, in early 2023, this figure moved up to 12. Of course, if we were to be slightly cheeky, we could say that the total number of A330-800 airframes ordered grew by nearly 10% due to the 2023 order. It sounds a lot more exciting than an order for just one aircraft. So, who exactly is this latest customer? According to Airbus's public and downloadable orders and delivery spreadsheet file, accurate as of September 30th, 2023, the single order was placed by an entity within the government's executive and private jets category. We're sad to say that the actual operator who placed the order remains unknown. The deal appears to have been made in the first quarter of 2023, with no new details emerging. Despite months passing since the order was logged, Planespotters.net's production list for the A330-800 doesn't list any new customers. Additionally, the website Aviation Flights shows that the most recent activity related to A330-800 production is the delivery of the aircraft-registered Oscar Yankee Golf Kilo November, or MSN 2020, to Air Greenland on December 7, 2022. Yes, 2023 has been an extremely quiet year for anything to do with A330-800 production. At the risk of stating the obvious, it's clear that the aircraft will most certainly become a form of executive or private transport, either for government officials or a wealthy individual. If it were the latter, then the jet might be fitted with an A330 ACJ interior. Another question that'll need to be answered is whether or not the aircraft will be a completely new build, or if it could possibly be an old, already built A330-800 configured as an Airbus testbed. Airbus has a single A330-800 in its inventory, the jet registered Foxtrot Whiskey Tango Tango Oscar with MSN 1888 was the first A330-800 ever built. Now five years old, flight tracking services like Flight Radar 24 show that no flights have taken place for this airframe in years, with this particular jet listed as stored in Toulouse as of June 2020. It's not uncommon for testbed, prototype, and early build jets to be sold off to customers. In fact, the 737 MAX 7 airframes currently being used for testing will eventually make their way to Southwest Airlines. The testbed 737 MAX 10s are listed as due at United Airlines. On the Airbus side, one of the earliest A321 NEOs now serves with Vietjet Air. Perhaps Airbus, setting the right price, has finally found a new home for this lonely A330-800. Eventually, production lists and registrations will change to reflect a new A330-800 operator, even if it's with a vague name or leasing company. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with this mystery order. Do you have any ideas as to who might want to order a single A330-800? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.